Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Anything can happen in the next half hour. What did I tell you about cartoons? They've got a lot of brains, and they've got a lot of cut parts. Tell me how comic books make you feel, Dave. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Hi, this is Franz Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator, artist, tune talker, all of these different things I am. And I'm here with... Uh, I'm just Jim Bridges. Who are you, Jim Bridges? No, I'm just Jim Bridges. I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum. Right. So we've declared war today, World War II, in yeah. cartoons. Yeah, I'm Mark Bryant. Mark Bryant. And who's the, the publisher? Writer. Who's the publisher? Publisher is... Can you read that? You've got your glasses. Grub Street. There you go. What's that? Grub Street. Grub Street. Well, actually, Grub Street's, well, that's for another story. That's yeah. where a lot of things get published. Is that 21 Grub Street? No, that's 21 no, Grub Street. No, um, Ralph Stedman gets all his stuff, um, um, you know, pu published there. Uh, you know, the... Okay, Mark right. Bryant. Mark Bryant. Yes, he's the author and he's actually signed this book. Yeah, and who's this Goomer? The Goomer. The <laughs> What, what, is this Goomer? What, what does Goomer mean? Goomer or Goober. Well, that's, that's Adolf that? Heatlump who only had one. John Lennon called him Adolf Heatlump. Heat, Heatlump. Heatlump, yeah. You get lumped from the heat. Yeah. Um, this is obviously so, about the... Okay. This is pre-war? Pre-war. This is a ramp up to war. This, oh, this is very interesting. This yeah, is a cartoon of uh, Mussolini yeah. as the... Um, Romulus and Remus Ro statue. Yeah, the, the wolf, yeah. the she-wolf that feeds Romulus well, and Remus is that now... That feeds all these dictators because yeah. he was the first one. He was the first one. So, yeah, so Hitler's following and you've got the the the, uh, uh, the guy from Spain. Um, Him? Yeah, what's his name? Tito or... No. No. The other that's guy. That's after the war. Oh, okay. So who are these guys? Who's the guy from Spain? You would have it in the... In the um, the fascist dictator from Spain. Yeah, well, um, Franco. Franco, that's yeah. right, Franco. And there's, uh, uh, there's Oswald Mosley, who was a British uh, fascist. Oh, was he? I didn't know they had yeah. fascists in Britain. Yeah, they did. Anyway, this cartoon here um, was done in 1919. Yeah. And basically, they're coming out of the Versailles Treaty after they've signed it, there's, there's Woodrow Wilson and there's Clemenceau and... Anyway, they're all signed it and then they've got the baby 1940 crying and he's basically saying that um, there's going to be a war. They made a mistake. There's going to be a war in 1940 and there was. So pre-war there's a and lot that's of done tension. By, that's done by, by um, Will Dyson, the Australian, who's working yeah. in England yeah. at the time. So this looks like just the characters. This is early lead up to the war. Mm. This is Hitler giving out his um, copy of his book, Mein Kampf. So you see a lot of this sort of Vico uh, Viking operatic sort of stuff from... Well, Wagner. Wagnerian yeah. opera. Yeah. Used a lot. Yeah. I don't know what... That, the, that's the, the fat lady who sings. That's... Um, um, oh, I boy. only know... And good night, Mrs. McGillicuddy. And what, what's that from? Wherever you are. Or what? What's Was it McGillicuddy? The... Um, Jimmy Durante used to sign off. Oh yeah. Ha -cha -cha -cha. Mm. So this is mirror. This is Hitler, and behind him is Peter the Great. Um, but they're slightly different, aren't they? So pre-war propaganda illustrations and cartoons are different to post-war, obviously, and different to to war well, propaganda. Yeah, they're very different because well, all, what it is is cartoons. trying to g is trying to sort of. Jockey for position and demonise and demonise the opposition. Yeah, to demonise the opposition. But, but, but all cartoons um, during wartime are, are um, propaganda. All of them. Yeah, but in wartime they're ramped up. So yeah. this is subtler than wartime propaganda. Here, oh, who did this? This is very interesting. Fitz James. 
uh, he used this image a lot, and you can almost feel the metal, the the way he's drawn Bruce it. Who's James? Uh, American um, cartoonist. He did these very heavy sim symbolism in charcoal or something. Yeah, in charcoal, and very you almost clever. you can almost feel the the um, like that's like uh, metal, mm. but it's also like it's, it could be blood. And so stuff. tonally, in the tone of the cartoons, this is like the cats and jammer. Well, I mean, this is American football, but. Uh, As an know, allegory yeah, for the yeah. Nazi or the yeah. fascists, all of the fascists. Yeah, but I don't know what um, what uh, the, the Europeans saw of that because they didn't know anything about American football. Well, they're they? the pe peaceful nations. Yeah. So the four horsemen, he called this. Yeah. Well, it's Japan. Born shoemaker. Um, Italy, Germany, and that's um, war, the symbol of war. Mm. Mars. Mm. A lot of German work is in this book, um, so... Well, yeah. They all... Well, it's, um, it's the war. Yeah, it's but, the World War II yeah, cartoons. Yeah, but... but um, it the, would feature mainly, prominently, yeah, I think. Yeah, but um, a lot of the cartoons are critical of... Ger uh, German cartoons are critical of Germany, so they must have been before Hitler really came to power because he would have got rid of them all. Well, this is the ramp-up. Yeah. These, these would be not from mainstream papers, I would say. These are from flyers. Or the Sturmer, well, that's necessary. quite a mainstream that's paper, right, isn't it? That's right. Well, they're getting stuck into the Jews here, see? So there's the Jews who started the war. That's probably what they're saying. Well, that's a sword to yeah. scare the, the, the but, Jewish but here's, um, here's the population. the money. He's, he's counting his money in yeah. the cards. And this so they're is, really hitting these hard These are all on different the... versions of Hitler. He's, um, he wants to run the world. Yeah. That's sent up with the, the Chaplin movie. So and, these are and here. It is. This, this is the the swastika symbol. Yeah. So at the moment, they're before propaganda really kicks in. These are sort of the rumblings. Well, I don't know. I mean, you you can't get any more propaganda than these two. Yeah, but th these are German anti-Semitic propaganda. Yeah. So 35, this they've, they've, 35. Yeah. So they went to town on on the um, the Jewish people as a as a blame to blame them. And for. the war did start in thirty nine. This is where Hitler's courting uh, Russia. Mm. Oh, it doesn't he look sweet. And this is a famous, the scum of the earth, I, I believe, um, the bloody assassins of the workers, I presume. And they're meeting over the dead body. Yeah. That's actually... Rendezvous. 1939. Yeah. So, are that's, we in war? Yes. We that, just started. Yeah, but um, um, that's David Lowe's most famous sought-after cartoon. No, no one found the original. Well, maybe he's got it. <laughs> I don't think Stalin collected it. So this is a very old-time uh, idea of yeah. a snake gobbling up countries and yeah. things. You know, they used to use this to probably lampoon empire company countries like France and Italy yeah. and uh, yeah. you know maybe England. But there's this domestic stuff. This is um, you know soldiers hanging out there, stuff over the. Yeah. Line, and, and so the war cartoons. War cartoons feature not only the war but the effects of war yeah. on the population and and also, you know, things that, that are to do with that experience. This is an Australian this cartoon. This is lovely, yeah. Armstrong. Beautiful. It's got a nice um cartoon cartoony sensibility. So I mean that So death is sowing the seeds and these are mines. Yeah, that's a very... Um, that's the scrub, that's British. That's a very Australian run, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I've seen that quite a few times. Um, symbols, again, this is... Who's um, this Goomer? Well, that's Churchill, Churchill smoking cigars, but actually, <laughs> he's... Um, uh, they're U-boats. Um, mm. They... they, they um, they claimed a lot of U-boats early in the war. Mm. That's what that's about. And Hitler's worrying about all his U-boats. So his cigars are being pinched. And so there's, there's in an English the paper, the cartoonist would, would caricature the Prime Minister. But obviously in a German paper, if you caricatured Hitler in a German paper, I think yeah. you'd be sent to well, the Well, this is an Australian paper. This is another Mick Armstrong. Yeah. And, and there's... there's um, I thought you said Mick Armstrong worked in the English for the English paper. No, uh, he, he's an Australian, but they like his stuff so much he was published all over the world. Oh. A bit like David Lowe. The Empire. Simplicimus is a famous um, um, humour um, German magazine. This is, you know, domestic. This is about lockout, looking at girls at night. This is another gag. 
Well, it, who's, well, it was your idea to have a black cat. I can't find the cat to go feed it. Mm. And all this sort of domestic stuff about blinks. Yeah. There are Americans, newspapers, uh, ma magazines, no, British, American. Yeah. And German. This is lovely. Yeah. Look at that, Lawson. Um, Lawson Wood. Yeah. He, he did Paris Colliers. and stuff. He was yeah. terrific. And see, so this is a two-legged race between Russia and... Mm. I would say Collier's never published cartoon covers except for the war. Uh, don't know. Don't know. That's, that's quite extraordinary. That's a that's a beautiful illustration. Yeah. I mean, look at the water on that. It's yeah. Lovely. Oh, he was great. He's one of the great illustrators of all time, also. Yeah. So here's the... Um, the enemy uh, of rats, of yeah, course. Yeah, that's right. And this is... This is the symbol of uh, uh, Rome. Yeah, that's right. That's the thingy, the axe, yeah. the multi-headed axe. The thingy. Together, together, where? Yeah, the thingy. Yeah. Thingus, thingus, thingus maximus. Um, attempt at humour there? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a thing. Thingus, thingus maximus. Yeah. Okay. Those of you who speak glad... Latin can correct me. Yeah. Or. Um, this is a Dutch... Um, D-Robot. Yeah, this is a Dutch uh, publication. I've got that at home. Yeah. So, robot was a word that came out in the 1920s. Yeah, it's a Czechoslovakian word. But this is about Blitzkrieg, really. Yeah, the machine. But, yeah. And this is... And this um, is low. This is low. This is beautiful brushwork. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. And this is... For... Yeah, this is quite a common thing because it's such a spidery looking... Yeah. Um, well, four gun, the swastika. It's four gun um, um, Adolf, and he's appealing to all these other countries to come over to them. Mm. And um, and this is the the Ooh, war that's machine. very Disney, isn't it? Night on Bald Mountain. Yeah, but it, it's a bad repo. You can't really see the face. It's probably got little beady eyes. Yeah, well, yeah, evil eyes. Um, there he is, the bulldog, British bulldog. Yeah, it looks like a car, doesn't it? Mm. And so here's the all entering the game. Yeah. This was very popular. This is based on the uh, Looney Tunes of the time. You the, reckon? Um, yeah, silly symphonies, that sort of thing, the round characters. Well, it's a German propaganda postcard. The Germans would have been very familiar with their silly symphonies, I'm sure. You reckon? Yeah. Before and of course, they got political. This is uh, Churchill coming to power. Yeah. And he's going to... Um, Eclipse the eclipse uh, everything, and there's another famous. They're, they're all getting rolled their sleeves rolled up because right. He, that's what he said probably in, right. a, in a speech. And this is another one of his famous pictures, the the Gestapo. Oh, that's a good one of um, singing. What's his name? The just <laughs> that thingy. The, another thingy. Yeah. What's his name? Um, Nazi. Well, he's in charge. Of Himmler. Himmler. He was in charge of the Gestapo, and yeah. they're the angel of death. Yeah. And this is the yes or no. Yeah. The Which Roman are, thing. Yeah, Roman. And this is Churchill being uh, lionised or not lionised. And these are the symbols. Mm. See? Hitler sitting here and there's there's um, um, Uncle Sam and um, John Bull mm. coming up. And who's this? I don't know. The Untermensch. Yeah. And of course, this is the early part of the war when um, the Battle of Britain was happening. Mm. And the here, here is uh, Churchill um, carrying the French President de Gaulle um, to safety mm -hmm. because they were. And here, here is um, 1940. Look at this zip tone. Yep. And there's more zip tone. Well, they had zip tone then, didn't they? I don't know. I can't remember. I'll and there, th out. there he is, um, the Harmony Boys. Of course, um, halfway through the war, or very so soon, soon as um, he turned around and went the other way. Yeah, and then then everything changed. Yeah, there's a very very early Ronald Searle. Mm. This is beautiful. Look at his line. Details for Ronald yeah. Searle, very early. Yeah. And there's another Mick Armstrong from Australia about um, the batting average of, of, of how many planes were shot down. Yeah. That's very good. 
is there to know who that is? He's going in to check out. Well, I must be That's toddling nice. in now. Um, I must have missed the nine o'clock news. This is what's happening on his doorstep. And, yeah, then, yeah. and there's a very early Giles. Yeah. And what does he say? What, what, yeah. Read it. It says His Lordship's remarks should be quite interesting when he sees this little lot, Cooper. Yeah. Don't understand. So there are a lot of cuts from the bombing, the blitz. Yeah. Yeah. You know. All the practical here, here they have yeah. their, their, their little a lot shelter of cartoons. and they're growing their vegetables on top of it and of yeah. course during the what the he's, underground he's, he's more worried about losing his uh, watermelon the subway and, so a lot of these are cartoons from the daily papers that yeah. reflected life here under they are. Here, here, the here, blitzkrieg the, the upper class have got a specialized frame that they continue having their their cucumber sandwiches uh, and here's a guy, the whole building's been destroyed. Yeah. Uh, oh, Mr. Butterfield, Mr. McSimmons would like to see you in his office at once. Mm, no oh, office. No office. Oh, well. right. These are very interesting. Well, that's These Otto Soglow. Uh, Otto Soglow, who did the, the, little, the little King, remember? Mm. That, that strip in the American? Oh, I didn't know he was that old. Okay. And this is just the war um, in the desert. Mm hmm. And this is a, a David Lowe saying that the British soldiers now have the Australians with them. Yeah, marching and, along. Yeah, Trebrook, they, beat, they got Trebrook and they, you know, they're moving on. Mm, this is interesting how he's done this. So this is they're the all event of, of America delivering yeah. fresh the, the baby. armaments. The baby. Or coming into the yeah. war probably. 1941, so they're entering yeah. the war. The Nazi lunatic song. Yeah. So th these are obviously cartoons. So the um, by the time the war got underway, good and proper like this, the tone of the cartoons and indeed the tone of the propaganda became frantic. Well, see here, in, in, instead of having all the hay, you've harvested. They've harvested all these these uh, planes. Mm, the German planes. Yeah. Air defence in Britain. That's Britain. Yeah. Yeah. And so here we go. This is a Russian propaganda yeah. Soviet poster from 1941 yeah. saying, you know, um, don't worry, fellows, um, I, Russia's on the case. I don't know how to pronounce this, but. The enemy, it's called. No, this. Um, there, there were three cartoonists who, who did one cartoon together. Mm. They, you know. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're, they're, yeah. they're very good, they're very good. And we're back to Colliers again. So where would they print these? These are just uh, posters. Posters, primarily, mm. yeah. Screen print, they stuff the them best up on stuff, the, on the Some wall, of the best the stuff in the war, actually. Yeah. And so here's the Napoleon again, you know, don't, don't make the same mistake I did. Yeah. Oh, it's about Russia. Yeah, Moscow. Moscow. Um, there's another Soviet poster here. So you could start to see the sort of um, the tone that they're actually taking with uh, with respect to the enemy. It's yeah. getting very heavy. And um, this is this Pearl Harbor. Again. This is Pearl Harbor. Yeah. By the time they had another enemy involved, 1941, yeah. with uh, Japan, um, they're really Collier's American magazine. They're really stuck in. They got really, really angry and got stuck yeah. into the um, very racist overtones. Of course, you have to be very careful. <laughs> Googling these um, well, propaganda this is, this posters. This is Roosevelt and smoking the very um, severe the Japanese pipe. Yeah, and this is a Japanese cartoon um, um, of him as Frankenstein. Or yeah, something. that's right, as, as a monster. Monster. It's very interesting. And this we is never the, see any of the Japanese cartoon propaganda cartoons or yeah. cartoons of that well, time. We don't see much. Very interesting how they and how th they view this them. is um, you know traditional. Um, Japanese dance, no a dress, but they've got yeah. the symbols and here we're Nazi we're, symbols. They're still getting stuck into the Jews here. It looks like nineteen Marcarelli. Are, 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 are they? Well, oh, this is the occupied France. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to round up the Jews in France. This is a famous um, kids book. And they've changed it into um, a Nazi Hitler. storybook. Yeah, this little kid who had these um, big bushy hair in it. Truffle eater. Funny pictures. 
Britain shall not burn. So Britain take a, took a leaf out of the Russian、um, book of uh, of uh, graphics of posters. Well,、uh, I mean, actually, propaganda posters and simplified the process. Yeah, which is very interesting. Because up until then, you know, the posters were much more illustrated. Now、oh. they're graphic. They're very, very simplified, stylized. And this is in in Holland, and the Germans already controlled Holland. And of course, there's this little Dutchman sitting there by his dike, smiling.、Oh. And they want to know what happened here because they were they were trying to,、uh, um, you know, do all the damage behind the scenes. That's funny.、Mm. Um, 1942, still in there. The, these were dropped、um, for the Australian soldiers.、Um, here, here he is in New Guinea fighting, and the, 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 this is propaganda yeah, by the Japanese yeah, and, to、uh, try to upset the Aussies yeah, because he's there about the, the American troops. Their women back home being um, being um, seduced by the American soldiers. Yeah, which was a true story. Well, and, and, it's not and exaggerated it's, like that. No, but yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But the fears were 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 ripe. They were they were they were plugged into their fears. Well, that's the idea of propaganda. Tojo is this maniac. Yeah, drooling, murdered, murdered American airmen. Yeah. So it's an American cartoon. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, this is a very famous one. Yeah. The fiend in the night in Don Lich. The fiend. No, the fiend with the light. So they're telling you basically to turn the lights turn off. Turn the lights off because God's sake, they won't because, be able to throw the bombs. Yeah, the、you. English are going to bomb you. Yeah. There's another Australian cartoon.、Mm. The <laughs> that's the um the the bird that eats the dead dead. The vulture. Yeah, the vulture. The Luftwaffe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so here is、um, Peace Britannia, but the but, big pot belly of but Britain of the wanted the world, and this is about American soldiers coming to Europe. And, you know. So this is an Italian propaganda poster.、Yeah. Same with this, right? So you can see it's very illustrative. It's、yeah. the opposite of the graphic way that the Soviets were、uh, designing. And, and this、posters. is this is you know like the. Um, this is a more. This the, is a. The Americans are going to devalue our way of life. You know,、yeah. they put two dollars on the Venus Canal. Yes,、yeah, sell off the. Well, yeah. They reckon the Americans would sell off the. And the because they had blacks, artworks. They had blacks. Oh, is that an anti-black? That's an anti-black thing as well. Because、wow. they had black soldiers. So the Italians、there. are super and, racist. And they're the different. They're they're, they're the axis.、Um, this is a very common symbol of the、yeah. octopus, sort of stretching its.、Um, yeah. Its.、Uh, And this is Influence, this is a German、um, poster, and and this is a famous one too in his、um, monocle hanging.、Um, they're hanging everybody. The Stato, and there's a、um, there's a vulture on a swastika.、Mm. It's the French guy、um, who was in charge of the Vichy. I forget his name. Vichy. The Vichy, which was the the government, the French government. Yeah.、Um, is it, which was Vichy. Yeah. And these are comics. Yeah, this is interesting. It's like、um, Captain Freedom. Hey, it's like you, all you need is a pair of、um, yeah gloves and a mask, and off you go fighting, saving the world, kicking the ass、yeah. of the Jerry's. And、uh, this is a kids' book about、yeah. the planes, and this is a, a send up of、um, how.、Um, Industrialised, the average German was. They've got the, like the the, the 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 chairs is like a tank, and all these symbols and、mm. you know,、wow. total war, total war. So、everything. making wimpy the Wellington kids like the technology, obviously. So the、yeah. Wellington was a very famous、um, yeah bomber, bomber. Yeah. yeah, and here it is. This is before D Day. They're saying it's a secret.、Um, we don't.、Uh, what? They won't let us know what the camp is for, but it's obviously Americans. This is very popular.、Um, these sort of things. Is your journey really necessary?、Yeah. And also, don't talk. You know,、yeah. I wonder if they've got other posters in there. Oh, like, they will. Shut up. <laughs> and there's the Jewish.、Um... This is a from the Sturmer again. Yeah. And this is still 1943.、Yeah. So they're still really ramping up this、uh, anti-Semitism. 
as a as a last ditch effort to sort of gain and this is uh, support. This is the tattoo one showing how the Americans are all gangsters mm. and um, they get they, Very, kill, they kill children. Yeah. Very different tone, you know. It's almost like the way that they did this was like their pulp comic books or pulp um, yeah. paperback novels. Well, um, and American uh, also comics, their cheap American their, uh, black and white movies. American comics are very popular in yeah. in, um, in, in Italy, Italy, yeah. And they're all banned, popular. and they're really up. Um, the, yeah, the locals are upset. Here is the, the well, there was a big underground market of American comics yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> in Italy, and so here is uh, Mussolini on on the toe. Mm. And the shoes all fall into bits. Yeah, Italy's going falling to bits. 1943. There he is again. That's a beautiful yeah, kick shot up, of him. Kick with up the bum. That's a, by those uh, three Russians. Boot. Those three Russians. Kuyinsky. Yeah. Yeah. Now these are by this guy. They were never published, but they they published after the war. And this shows the night, the the, the nightmare of the the night, the night bombing. Alarm. The night bombing. And this is a German cartoon. I think it's um. I think it's Czechoslovakian, hmm. but they were never published during, during the war. They were published later, and that looks like Saul Steinberg, hmm. an early science Saul Steinberg, the one who, the famous New Yorker uh, artist. Yeah, so this is more of a highbrow one. This is very uh, interesting. A Pelk. Yeah, well, it's from a, Pelk. It's very um, that's um, similar to Japan. Um, they're beating Japan, or they're going to. This is the club, you see. Yeah, they're this smoking. is very beautiful linear. Yeah, caricatures. It's a nice one at the church, in particular. Yeah, it's like that. Um, and this is see, Ilus, famous uh, illustrator. Mussolini is an ashtray. You see that? Yeah. What was the famous illustrator that the? Oh, you mean Hirschfeld? Hirschfeld. Yeah. yeah. Very similar. These are, these are beautiful. Look at these. Jane's Cafe. So Jane yeah. was a comic. And she was always losing the, the clothes. Mirror. She was always losing the clothes. Yeah, because it's, it's like a burlesque type of thing, see? There you go. And here it is. First it was the war reporters, now it's official artists. So these are all the official artists painting, on, you know, Thanks. the whole wall. Here they are here, looking out the edge here. Great. Nearly at the end of the war. <laughs> Fantastic. A war of cartoons. Oh, these are beautiful. Yeah. Knock. Who did this? Illustration Knock. Vax, number 3941. And what's the magazine from Build Era? Well, it's probably American, I'd say. So this is the first Benzinless shopping expedition. So everything's closed. So. This is very beautiful. The rich people um, go yeah. shopping. Because ev everything was hard to get. Yeah. Everything. Couldn't well, you had petrol. ration books yeah. everywhere. And here's another kid's book. Yep. The Gremlin. Yeah, the Gremlin. Griff the Gremlin. Yeah. Griff on the Gremlin. So this was to sort of hear, for kids anyway, yeah. they love technology about playing, so they yeah. made books to sort of feed on that um, that love of the uh, technology that, of course, were so used this is in the, the war. the Nazization of the French. Mm -hmm. Um... Better Ooh, pot luck with Churchill today than humble pie under Hitler tomorrow. Don't waste food. Yeah. So these are very popular. Yeah. You can see these today, you know, a lot of people um, uh, reproducing these. Don't take the squander bug when you go shopping. So yeah. the American ones had some beautiful um, propaganda posters. And the, these are um, uh, uh, these, the, these miniature paintings that are painted with a hair. Mm. You've got Churchill, Stalin. Yeah, it's like and, the Arabian and, Nights. Yeah. But they were uh, um, referencing um, children's classic children's no 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 this Arabian is, fairy tales. No and stuff. no no yeah, but yeah. this this is their traditional. This is a Middle Eastern art, and and these things were painted. They're miniatures, and they, and they're painted with one hair. And yeah, the originals, but not yeah, this. Yeah, but that, yeah, but that's that's referencing it. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. And the war's starting to really like um, nineteen forty three. Um, they always have these, you know, in with the the old, out with the old, old and in with the new. Mm. This is that was lovely. That look at that. Yeah. Well, that's um, it's very. That's um, Bill Morland about um, the, the the two um, soldiers that were always um, yeah up to their neck in mud. Let's have a look at that. That's a beautiful illustration. Yeah. Very simple and graphic. Beautiful. There's, their famous cartoon is when Patton goes past him in a jeep. Yeah. 
and he says, there, there goes our blood and guts. Yeah. And he says, yeah, our blood and our, our, guts. Our, our guts. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is the sword of Damocles. They're all waiting for D-Day. The second front. Yeah, the second front. And um, see Normandy, then Alamein, mm. what you know. This is a classic way of yeah. sort of covering a lot of that in the so, illustration. So they're all running for their lives now. In the cartoon. Because of Churchill. Mm. And oh, here, this is beautiful. Yeah. Acanthus. Yes. That's lovely. Actually, he did beautiful stuff later on. Did um, he? In, in Punch, really. In Punch. Yeah. Look at that character of the seaman. And that's a reference to Tobruk, is it? You won't half cop it if you're being late for the invasion. Well, yep. And here's this um, Dutch magazine again. And this is a very famous... Yep. You need to do a close-up of this one, of the Liberators. The Liberators. That shows you how the it's Americans like were. It's Swiss so, Army knife of ideas. Yeah, that's right. So you've got the Jewish, you've got the Masons, you've got the Blacks, you've got the Ku Klux Klan, all the bad things about America, they're coming to you and they're going to bomb the shit out of our country. So they use this in Holland to try to get... No, um, this, is a hot, this is a Dutch. Yeah, but the Nazis in yeah, Holland. Yeah. So they try to get um, The support. Four Horsemen again, the Four Horsemen. Yeah, they're, they're trying probably. to get support. Well, this is a reference to um, Dura, surely. Uh, they're yeah, trying to, and, and here's burning... Look, there's, there's burning um, Holland. Holland. Yeah, so they're trying to get the Dutch um, on their side. And I, I suspect that the colouring is to do with the war shortages. Uh, no, it's to do with the process at the time. So if this was a cover of... Uh, okay, so this was a magazine. Most of the magazines were black and white or yeah. two-colour. Yeah. They had like this um, either red or... I don't know or how it could have come out of, it, of Holland um, because um, uh, they were occupied. Mm. And, and the, the no, House no, of but that is a German. That's a German, pro-German poster, isn't it? No. No, look. It's a Dutch. It's Dutch. Then that's it's a pro-German poster. It's forty-four. But this is a pro-German poster. Yes. Right. That's um, House of Cards. Yep. And it was, uh, you know. Yeah. He's, everything's falling to bits. This is lovely. Yeah. My last zoo back. POW drawing. Yeah. In Germany, nineteen forty-four. Yeah. Huh. Goebbels as a little rat. Yeah, as a Mickey Mouse rat. And there's Ge Goebbels painting... That's a Soviet poster. Yeah, yeah because he is... Um, well, it's, is it? Uh, and here it is, he's drawing Hitler as a you know big epic stuff because he was the Minister of Propaganda. So this is really turning the um, Aryan propaganda machine that the Germans came out with yeah. against the Germans, yeah. laughing at them. Yeah, yeah. And here's here here are these uh, um, these three cartoonists again. Yep, Kukrinsky. Yeah. And this is the send up of uh, um, Alice in Wonderland, Adolf in Blunderland. Yeah. So that would be the British yeah. Prime Minister. Yeah, that's Chamberlain. I've Chamberlain. got this at home. Yeah. Wow. Comics. Great cartoon. Autumn is shaking all the leaves and um, mop, mop, mopping up the Nazis. Mm. And this is all, um, everything is, they used to put all the tape on the windows to stop the, the, the smashing, the vibrations. Is that, is that, are they um, little tiny swastikas? They yeah. are. Yeah. Those leaves are little That's tiny swastikas. Cartoon. That was done by um, uh, Hein and Hein. He, he was, um, he was a simplicitous cartoonist who was working. Um, he spent the war in Sweden, and so he could do all this sort of anti-German stuff from Sweden. Mm. And there were the two types. Mm. Ooh, that's a nice. Yes, Adolf, Heim Adolf Heimeister, yeah. Jesters in Ernest, London, nineteen forty-three. And there's the dragon, the China, stopping the. Yeah, so the, you're trying to get, um, yeah, China stopping Japan. Yeah. So you're trying to get these symbols to sort of yeah. very, you know, again, in England, trying to get very, very um, to the heart of the matter. With, yeah, they love these graphics yeah. that came out of Russia. And um, it was very quick, and the artists, the artists adored them. They, they were very um, simple, 
and very strong, very Careless powerful. Careless talk costs lives again. Yeah. Propaganda things about, you know, be careful what you're talking about because... Yeah. So these are like posts, these yeah. are not posters from the underground, surely. These are like small posters, aren't they? No, they, they were stuck all over the place. And this is Collier's again. Yep. See, he's the devil. Wow. The Doughboy's dream. Yeah. Very cool. And of course, the life or death, the, the atom. Yep. This is after the atomic bomb. Ah, 1945. Destruction. Yeah. Here we go. 30 seconds over Tokyo. There's another um, Saul Steinberg. Yeah. S sending up um, Nicholas Bentley. Goring. And uh, Bert. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of detail. We've got in skulls there. hanging from the. Mm. Very grotesque. So, um, oh, these are beautiful. These yeah, are like Bill Morgan again. Style, yep. Joe Kubert style almost. Well, and he was influenced. Joe Kubert was influenced by these guys. Yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. Some of the cartoons Disney. at the time. Walt Disney Productions. Yeah. Donald G gets daft, drafted. 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 MGM, The Blitz, The Blitz Wolf. Yeah. So. Well, the three wolves, that's Sergeant Pork. Because Sar Sergeant York, uh, that film came out. This is really powerful. Yeah. Fitzpatrick, witness for the prosecution. Um, and these are all the people who are dead. So this is. Who were the this witnesses is after for the, the wars about the Nuremberg? Yeah, Nuremberg trials. Yeah, here they are in jail. Cool. Oh, there you go. It's more Nuremberg cartoons at yeah. the time. So it was fascinating for the cartoonists to actually draw these court drawings of yeah. these these um, Nazis. This reminds trial. me. Oh, wow, of the, look at that. That's this, that guy that. Um, yeah, that's Hess. Yes. Um, these really are terrific, eyebrows. and it also reminds me of the book we did, the, the book um, mm. on. Um, uh, Peter Ustinov, because he yeah. was there too. He was there too. Yeah. Let's have a look at Hess there. Look at that beautiful. If you Google Hess's face, you'll see how how beautiful that uh, character is. There are all the different versions of Goring. Yeah. Looks like a toad. Oh, there's all the different expressions yeah. that he had. Yeah. Probably the reason why he got shot. Because he's in. Big toad. And so this is the ghost of the one, once proud um, the Nazi stormtroopers. Yes. Yeah. And of course, there they are. The, 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 um, but he died just oh, before the is, war finished. So, yeah. the, so the war's now, the world's getting better now, and here are the three people yeah, checking he died. out. So this is kind of like a uh, Wizard of Oz moment. There's no place like Rome. Yeah. <laughs> So they all get, the, you know, and oh, the world's getting better. Yeah. How are you? And here old it is. Thing? Here, look, and there's, there's, they're all, you know, but they all want the atom bomb. So that's America, but they all want the atom bomb. I think that's um, the president after um, Wilson. No, the president after Steve. Roosevelt. Oh. What's his name? Eisenhower. No, 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 no. Before him. Don't know. No, we don't know, folks. Him. We don't well, why don't we see it here? You can read it out here. So that would be uh, Truman. Truman, correct. They all want, they all want his bomb. They don't want him. They want on his bomb. Mm. And that's it. Fantastic. A very good well book done. on um, on uh, World War yeah. II. Particularly the graphics, if you like the graphics. There's some key uh, posters, propaganda posters that are missing from this collection. I don't know if you noticed. A lot of the GI ones, which are well, really, really Well, you can't really get cool. everything in it. And I mean, well, I would have, I would have started with the, the most famous ones. If yeah, I, well, that's one. true. But I mean, he act, there's a lot of Czechoslovakian, there's a lot of uh, even even the Japanese stuff you don't see. Yeah, there's no Chinese cartoons. No, I would have liked to have seen what they were doing. Yeah, in terms of uh, posters. Yeah, because the they time. really copped it really badly off the Japanese. Yeah, well, I, maybe they didn't have a, a, a free press the same way that uh, the rest of the country, the rest of the world had. Oh, the rest of the world has free press, do they? Yeah. Oh. Well, here's um, here's uh, Jim Bridges, who's uh, part of the world's free press. Yeah. And um, what's your name again? Vance Cantor. And what's all those things represent? You're a, you're a caricaturist and a cartoonist and a tune talker and all yeah, those things. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. So, folks, Britain shall not burn. How's that? Isn't that a beautiful poster? In the style of the Soviet um, propaganda posters. 
Which oh, I don't think I don't think that's historically correct. Why? And I'm pretty sure a lot of British uh, designers would be pissed off at you saying that. Why? This is Why? very Soviet influenced because of the graphics. Okay, all right. You know, I love it. Okay, well, um, that's it. Here's another one. How simplified that is. How beautiful. Cool. I love things that are that are that's that Russian. Simpler. That's Russian. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, good. Boris Elmos. Yes, Elmos. Well, there's a comp you can compare them. The English okay. one to the okay. to the Russian. Okay. Let's go. All right. Let's that's see it. you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thanks for the sour persimmons, cousin.